Lord om ipsom dolo sit emet. Consecter to ad apising elet. Welcome back to Game Wolf Plays Blood. That was some default text. So there. Oh no, I'm unable to change my blood! The transfusion was a failure! Which is funny. Because I think that's the name of a source port is transfusion. So that's kind of funny in a weird, why would you know that sense? It's not that weird. Come on. Going into the temple. You might think, am I going to get lost? Maybe. It sure starts feeling like that way. As these levels get longer and longer. I know the one after that is even particularly long. To the point that I decided to kind of do this daily stuff. But give me a chance for looking into it for about a week, okay? Let's see how you deal with this. Lightning on the trees. Oh, yes. I speak like this. Let's play Blood E1M5. Oh yeah, look out for the statues. Because they could be alive. Also, an Arngorgul is actually supposed to in the mythoses. Mythos. What's it, what's the plural of mythos? Mythoses. In their mythoses, aren't gargoyles supposed to scare off demons? Like, what would demons be doing with gargoyles? Is what I'm trying to tell you. Ah! This game is barely holding together, like duct tape and glue. That's okay. Oh, there's another one. He thinks he's got a bone to pick with me, but he's wrong. He's got the whole fibia. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't tell a fibia to you, be ya. Oh, boy. Looking up all that stuff. Wait a minute, I has boots. Boots! Thank you, boots. Dr. Martin's boots that make me jump, and the Dr. Martin's boots that make me jump. <laughs> yeah, I try to make sure I put my uh, default on an item I don't care I'm going to use if I'm saving. Like that. Just like that. Let's see what else is around. Uh, oh yeah, I think there might be a su Is there a super secret? There might be. Ugh, I can't take you guys. You're just burning too much in my way. In today's sermon... We study the modern revival of the first-person shooter in which we realize we're actually trying to make a fun game rather than just tell a narrative which I blame on Half-Life even though that kind of game was really necessary in terms of game development and storytelling. But, like with a lot of things in the last 20 years or so, um, when we discover something, we tend to just drop shit that we did like a few years before that even though we haven't fully explored the depths of what we've done because we assume everything is just obsolete like immediately well I'm here to tell you that it's not the case and especially with game design you know when people when it came to like stuff like the PlayStation I'm sure developers were like no no side scroller allowed and it's just like dude dude you know the side scroller is still a legit game, and it's not going to stop being a legit game. So, yeah. I guess it's in the same way how people will probably still make black and white movies. Like, you're not going to stop black and white movies from existing. So, you may as well accept it. Or silent films, or what have you. It all comes down to style. Yeah, it, it, I, don't, I don't even know the normal flow of this level. So, I've given up! It was not made up. It's just been given up. Oh yeah, that doesn't seem suspicious. Yeah, if you see a if you see a statue in a secret, it's probably gonna come to life. Just a statue FYI of a DIY that you got from an aggravated DUI. Ah, uh, worshiping the cult of evil. I wonder what Trinobog would have to say about um Did I just die by accident? Oh, my health is just low. 
Well, if I get this guy, I think there's invulnerability right near him. So that'll help me out for a little bit. Yeah, I should've just gave him space. I, will, I was worried about making the second one come out. I worry too much. Look at all that fucking ammo! You know I'm gonna waste it now. Anyway, now I can safely go to the other one. With my 69 jump boots! Woo! There we go. Yeah. Just sink all those bullets in them. Nice. Huh. Oh, wait a second. Uh-huh. There we go. Someone was down there. Just something I remembered. I'm like, I haven't been here yet. Let's throw dynamite just to be safe. It seems rather rude considering, you know, the level designer would be like, Wait, look at all the stuff I put in here. And you just blew it all up. You didn't even come here yet. It's like, nope, sorry. Blowed up. Ah, get down here. I don't even know what rhymes with gargoyle. <sighs> wow. That corpse jibbed itself. Who would have guessed? Not me at all, actually. Not even an ironic use of that phrase this time. That's right, everybody. Looney Tunes. Dun 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 dun. Da, 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 da. <laughs> He's telling me about his new currency. Fear bucks! The cryptocurrency of the damned and cults. Oh, you mean every cryptocurrency? Ho ho ho! Han Solo, you're so funny. Look, I want to get paid real money, not cryptos. Alright, Hut's like, oh, come on! <laughs> Modern Star Wars, just wait. Just wait until every, like, movie, TV series is on the. no longer on the fence about how they think about that kind of thing. When, in a sense, it was okay in one way, but it's not okay in another way. See, I probably would have approved another currency if we hadn't relied on how it's generated, because that's actually the problem. You know. Because I thought the whole point was just to be like anonymous with the money you already had. And we didn't use it that way. So, as usual, as a species, we screwed up everything. Everything we touch turns into mayhem and madness. Oh, come on. Fine. I'll do this. Screw you guys. That's better. No more zombies in the zombie-itis world. Open up that vase with your gun! Ha cha cha cha! Open up! That's what he says! More doctor's bags! Hooray! You know, these boots of jumping sure do feel like a D&D &D item. Just at random. <laughs> the boots of jumping. I don't know where that fits in the blood aesthetic, but okay. It's the <laughs> Out of all the items I could be complaining about when it comes to the theme of this game, it's the boots of jumping. Sure. I'm not even sure what the vulnerability thing is supposed to be. Like a sigil or something? An avatar of don't hurt me, you can't? Uh. Alright, that... That, um... I... I <laughs> it seems like some of these switches have a hitbox. Believe it or not. Or a use box. More like a black box. What's going on? Oh! Hey. Hey, Caleb, man. How do I shotgun? Well, first you put it in your hands and you go floopity floop. 1,000 Starbucks gift card. Screwed up, you did. Well, that doesn't sound pleasant, but hey, look, an outside area! Isn't that so pleasant and not foreboding in the least? That's the name of the game, is to bode with your fours. Four arm bodies with your four bodies. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I had it with the shit and just used the secondary. I'm gonna do it again if you w don't watch out. You know, I should have. I have a lot of flares right now. 
I could waste it with some secondaries now. But save that for potential crowd control instead if you're going to use secondary that way. But that was just, I wanted him dead now, so. That's all it takes. Is you kick him in the head and he wish he were dead and... How many more guns are Kimbo's? I don't know. At this point, you could just throw them at me and it really would not matter. Again, that's my number one criticism, is the power-ups do not last long enough. <laughs> Even the diving suit does not last long enough. I'll manage. I'll manage, okay? I'm doing fine, actually. Get up from the floor! Do a breakdance! Twister! Ah! Well, that's an interesting sound. What's going on here? It's another napalm cannon. Cool. Yeesh. Just suck it up and use the napalm cannon. Thank you. I mean, napalm launcher. You know. It's the napalm. We'll just call it the napalm. Even though, again, I don't think we used napalm until the fucking 1970s, but what would I know about that stuff? I mean, I don't know. Guys, can you look up the history of napalm? I obviously don't know shit today. <laughs> he has the internet at his fingertips, and yet he refuses to research. Oh, I research lots of stuff, but odds and ends, like, where does napalm come from? Doesn't really enter the equation sometimes. Or, like, little obvious things I don't worry about. And also, it's how curious I am about it. Because right now, I'm not too curious. A little curious, a little furious. There's a goggle down there, which is why I'm trying to dynamite him. But, sure. Hey, wait a minute, how many bones do you have? He's growing extra bones, like they're ligaments. The ligaments of my imagination. Which is what I like to call imaginary muscles. That's right. Anyone pretend... Yeah, anyone pretending they're strong and is not. They are ligaments of your imagination. Which, you know, is probably even more true if you take steroids, so don't. Pick up the gruel! Eat it! <laughs> oh no, I broke some pots and pans at someone's Foley artist's house. Not the plates. Oh, that was good. Thank you. Thank you, random corpse, who have supplied me with more life energies. Yeah. It does lead credence to the whole reason why vampires live longer, you know, with the whole sucking blood thing. It's simply so they stay alive longer. So it's like the only reason they live longer is because they're just sucking the life out of other people. And at the time that that story was made, you would have assumed the life energy of a person was blood. So it is that simple, really, really simple, good stuff. I can't help but think something is here. Uh oh. Two gargoyles! They ain't shit. We ain't found shit! Well, keep combing the desert. Okay! That's right, Tuvok. Comb the desert. Yeah. Ugh. What is wrong with me today? I know what's wrong with me, and it's because I'm recording before some medical stuff I have to do, so... It is not so much an anxiety thing as it is me being antsy and be like, Hey, I want to do this! Let's go! You know, because when I get an idea in my head, I want to address it as soon as I can before I forget about it. And that extends to things that are more important and personal, such as medicine, so... There you go. Oh, the blood of the world! Hmm. Well, at least you don't have to worry about Red Cross suing you, since your health is represented by, you know, a literal beating heart. So that's good. Also, digits. Nothing to worry about but those digits As I get lost and don't know where I'm going I'm getting so lost, what the fuck? And that's what I do Okay, there's some stuff It's okay, I just When I feel like I'm not going the way I'm supposed to long enough I eventually get there That's what being lost is about It's, it's not so much going exactly where you want to go but remembering the general direction of where you need to be, and then recalling some things on the way. I'm like a good navigator. That's what people tell me. It's true, though. 
I wonder if I can navigate through the Lost TV series, though. Now, that is a question. We'll have to put that to the test one day. I will make fun of it. A show to make fun of. Whoever could have seen it coming. I wonder if Lost was a video game now. It'd be like one of those, like, 2000s... Wow, we're characters from Lost. Help with these tasks by collecting all the Lost coins. And so you can go to the next level. Welcome to the next Lost level. Get these mounted Lost coins and rescue all the Lost. Like, ugh. I do not miss games where they would just say the entire tutorial. And I know why they did that. It's because people were not reading instruction manuals. So they forced you to listen to the tutorials. And now we've gone past that and I've just let people look up this stuff online. Which is not always a good idea if you just let, instead of making instruction manual, just have people crowdsource a wiki. But sometimes it's digital manuals, and I like those. Thanks, Nintendo, for at least doing that. I'm sure Sony and Microsoft have also, but I haven't actually played PlayStation 5 or Xbox One X to be able to tell you that. So if you do know about that, let me know. Plus, I don't even know if Nintendo's going to make another system after Switch. We might, have, we might be at a point in our digital entertainment history where we have not made a very long stride of what to do other than just more storage space, which, in my opinion, is a bad idea. I'm happy with all the games we have right now. If they weren't able to make any for, like, a dozen years or, or like, a, hell, even a hundred years, I'd still have enough games. So... I am in no rush. You do not need to make your games under crunch time. I know, it's because you want money, but too bad. More brains for my brain copter. For my brain soup. Brain drops keep falling in my head. But that's because I have a rare disease. <laughs> Well, that was some worthless rats. How'd they even come out? They should have come out and let the world know that they're going to let it show. I'm coming out. Gee, I wonder what that song's about. <laughs> Ugh. Yes, resist the power to say ah uh, and um as is technicality. But you know what saying ah uh, and um really is? It's you editing your voice live, and it's something I would do if I was acting, but in real life, people gibber. We do not talk perfectly in one shot about everything we say. This is only a phenomenon we introduced sometime after Hollywood came around, where we expected everyone to speak, well, pretty much perfectly about everything all the time, when it's not... What we think is perfect talking isn't a substitute for how to actually talk. But what would I know? I'm just a guy on the- it- That zombie's going for a Duncan. That's why I didn't see for the fucking, um... See, I did it again! That's why I don't see for the Dark Carnival level. There was no dunk chamber. What's up with that? At least seven max on a dunking booth! Why this game not have a dunking booth? Zero out of ten, no dunking booth. Hey, Scoop, I put on my diving suit. That's right. You get on fire, sir. Okay, we got gasoline. Alright, uh, pay attention. You will know what to do when the time comes. Yes, you will. We will see that symbol again later, so just remember it. Um, yes. Ouch! Why are you hurting me? Wait, I know the answer to that. It's because you inflict pain. Therefore hurt. Through the curtains, we get some more armor. Yeah. Yeah, my basic armor has been way more useful. But, it, again, fire armor is not without its merits. You just have to purposely decide if you're going to go in the way of explosives or find some lava rocks to lock across. Try that again, close captioning. See what I say. See what I care. Again, if I was writing a script, you know there'd be some close captioning transcriptions and some good old-fashioned actual English stuff. But, 
in the real world, or rather in the virtual world when you're playing a video game, it is kind of, um, well, a lot of non-scripted things can happen because of the RNG. So, if you're, like, scripting something live, you're definitely doing it wrong. <laughs> Even though mine is after the fact, but that's because I don't want to divert my attention. I suppose I could save time by trying to do both, but I've seen how long the next level I'm doing is. So you choose the te teeth on the left. If you choose the other two, you're going to die. Unless you happen to have invulnerability. In which case, go for it, jackass. There's a secret. There's, this, there's a big super secret here. Um, so what I found to do is to kind of just go in the middle of the bridge where you can see a ledge below and try to keep using the wall as you fall down so that you don't get nearly as hurt while going down there. I forget what you even find in there, but you should go there anyway. For a reason besides the power-ups you might expect in a super secret. And which I at least... Th I think there's at least a super arm in a life suit, which is usually good enough for me for these super secrets, so... If you're trying to, if you're designing a level and you want a super secret, just give me a life seed and super armor. That's all. Yeah, that's what they did. So, this is the source of the chanting. For whatever reason, I know because I can literally turn it off like a light switch. Yeah. Okay. Also, there's teleporters in this game. Did you know that? I should be par for the course in a first-person shooter, but it's not something I think it, thought about while playing Blood. <laughs> but no, there's always going to be teleports in the first person, per first person shootouts. Oh, they get my shootouts through my first person. Oh, no. They took my shootouts. They scream in agony as I attempt to tell jokes. See you next time.